Stay tuned for air gun detectives. <laughs>to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're gonna to take the mystery out of a couple things for you. First, this is the new Beeman Chief 2 PCP rifle. Comes in both 177 and 22 caliber. And just so you know, they run right around 200 bucks. But before we get started with this, do me a favor, if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down in the corner. Doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Also, Check out my website at www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got various t-shirts, I've got hats, got the Generation 2 bipods, which you actually see right here on this rifle. And uh, I do have some of my limited inventory on there, and I do have some silhouette targets that uh, we came up with, and they're twice the quality of any of the competition out there, and they're really reasonable. I only have a limited number. When they're gone, they're gone. And Probably half of them are gone now, and who knows, by the time this video comes out, they could all be gone. Anyway, let's get back to the subject on hand. This is the Beeman. I also have a new carbon fiber tank. I did a short on this a while ago for you. This is the uh, 6.8 liter tank, and I'm going to get into details with this. I'm going to show you how to use it. If you guys always wondered how you fill a PCP gun with one, I'm going to cover that towards the end of this video. But these are very reasonable, and I'm going to show you how they function the whole bit. So. Anyway, we'll talk about the carbon fiber tank as well. But back to the Beeman here. As I said before, this is a $200 PCP gun. It comes in both 22 and 177 caliber, and it's a pre-charged pneumatic. It is non-regulated, so it's a 3,000 PSI fill. This one has a synthetic stock. They do make a wood stock version. This has their fully adjustable trigger. Same trigger that is on their CO2 rifles, which is fantastic. And it's also the same trigger you're gonna find on the gauntlets and uh, one, of the, one or two of the barrel rifles as well. So great trigger. It's absolutely totally adjustable. Uh, you can make it as light as you want, as heavy as you want. This one also comes with fiber optic sights. It's got the red in the front. It's got the green in the back. It does have the 11 millimeter um, dovetail for your scope. This comes with two 10 round magazines in 22 caliber, and they're great magazines. These are the ones that just rotate. I'll show you more at the end of the video of uh, how they function, but they're great, great magazines, really easy to use. None of this turning the cover around, putting a pellet in backwards, nothing. You just load them and advance it. That's it. If you need to top them off, you can top them off. The gun itself, this weighs under seven pounds. It's very solid. The stock on this is incredi incredibly solid. So much so, as you see, I did mount the bipods on there. Um, the gun overall, 39, uh, 39 inches overall. So, and it does have the quick disconnect filler here, the foster fitting right on here, which kind of makes it really nice. Oh, and also they don't advertise, but this one has an adjustable hammer spring as well. So they're advertising this shoots out of the box right around 830 feet per second. We're going to test it. We're going to check out the performance. Also, if you notice, yes, I do have a different background here. I still have my other one. I'm just going to kind of rotate them through, mix them up a little bit. I just thought it would be kind of nice, promote the brand a little bit. Anyway, so let's go out and test this, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. Let's uh, test our Chief 2 here over the uh, chronograph, see what type of velocity we get. We're going to shoot the field target trophies, the 14.66. It actually did really well with these. So let's just shoot five shots. We'll average it out just so you can see what the performance is. All right, shot number one, 885. Shot number two, 901. Now I filled this thing all the way up, so the velocity may increase a little bit with the first few shots. All right, so that's two shots. This is shot number three, 915. Yeah, see it's climbing a little bit. Shot number four, 913. Yeah, so you can see it's settling around the, the low nines there. All right, and one more shot. Yeah, 917. Yeah, when you fill a PCP rifle, uh, any of them, if you're right up to that top of that fill point, you need to take a few shots usually to let that pressure come off that inner valve. So then this, the hammer spring then works properly. So it usually takes a couple shots, and you'll see that. Sometimes you'll see when you chart these out, it'll start out lower, go up higher, and then it'll start to work its way down. 
but we'll chart this one out for you anyway. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test the Chief 2 for some accuracy here. We're on our PCP range. We're uh, just a hair over 40 yards. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and check that out real quick so you can see the distance what we're shooting at. Yep. Anyway, what we're going to be shooting is our four inch splatter burst. Those, we like those, we'll get, leave you a link down below for them. Uh, also, the most accurate pellet, uh, the 14.66 field target trophy. Now keep in mind, I go through a lot of pellets behind the scenes to try to find the most accurate pellet. And I practice with this gun, so I try to give you the best possible performance on camera. And that's why I do that. So anyway, today, field target trophies, we're going to go with that. So we're going to shoot five shots. Remember, we're going to go for grouping. We're just going to see how well this rifle groups. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. So let's go with uh, shot number one. All right, that was just a hair high. Shot number two. And that's a bullseye. Shot number three. Just a bit high. Shot number four. Back in the bullseye. And shot number five. Let's see where we can finish this one off. Back in the bullseye as well. Yeah, as you guys can see, $200 PCP gun, this thing is pretty doggone accurate. It really is. But we'll break down the shot counts and the best uh, best PSI as far as the um, best accuracy in this rifle. We'll take care of all that at the end. So uh, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test our chief as far as pull weight goes on these triggers. These are amazing triggers. Same triggers as on the CO2 rifle. All those, you've seen these many a times. Totally adjustable. I have this thing set for target, specifically target. So it's gonna be really light. I bet it breaks well under a pound. So let's see where we're at. Got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. I bet well under a pound. And I'm just guessing because I haven't actually tested it. Ah, there you go. 5.7 ounces. So <laughs> it's under a half a pound. But I have it set like that on purpose. Now you can, you can, there's so much adjustment you can do on these triggers. You could add a heavier spring, a lighter spring. Um, you can adjust um, the length of pull on it. There's many things you can do with these triggers, and I've told you this in the past in some of these other rifles. That's why they're so versatile. Anyway, that's where I have this one set. That's uh, out of the box and then adjusted. So, all right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do some plinking with our chief here. And uh, you guys saw how well it did in our accuracy tests. If we were at 40 something yards, we're gonna be using the same pellets, the field target trophy, the 14.66. These just definitely have the edge on all the other pellets. So we're gonna be using those. But we're uh, roughly the same distance. We're a little over, probably right around, a little over, hair over, 40 yards. And uh, we're a little uphill. But go ahead and check it out. We're, uh, we've got an empty uh, tin of our 14.66s. We've got a little shotgun shell there, I painted red. We also have a little egg and a bird and then a little black pipe there at the end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just try to shoot those down and just kind of show you guys the uh, accuracy of this thing as far as plinking goes. And plinking's fun, it's always fun. So let's start off. Let's uh, do the shotgun shell in the middle, right there next to the can, because I don't want anything to knock that over. So let's knock that shotgun shell out, and then we'll go there. That's a beaut. All right. I think went flying. All right, now the can. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. All right, and now let's do that first egg. Oh yeah, God, this thing hits hard. And the bird. Oh wow, that thing smacks him. And now the pipe. You can't miss with this thing. I'm serious, you can't miss. I am blown away for 200 bucks you can get this PCP rifle, anyway. So that might be giving you a hint how I'm going to be um, talking about this at the end. But anyway, let's wrap this up with our conclusion, and we'll chat a little bit more about it. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion. Well, I can tell you this exceeded my expectations without a doubt. 
Let's talk about the negatives, though. If any negatives, let's talk about them. I wish the rifle was regulated, but honestly, for $200, I can't complain about that. Who cares? Who cares if it's regulated? For 200 bucks, the performance on this was just great. So let's talk about the positives. I like to talk about the positives. So first of all, the price. I don't know where you're going to get a, a PCP rifle that has a trigger and performs like this with two magazines and two single shots. So speaking of magazines, these are those great magazines as I was talking in the beginning. These are the type, you don't have to move a cover, you don't have to do anything. You just load it, turn it, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one, you just rotate it. And then if you want to top it off, it's easy, you just top them off. You don't have to take any pellets out, nothing. So the magazines are fantastic and they actually give you two. So you get two 10 round magazines and then they actually throw in two single shot trays too. So you can have two single shot trays as well. So that, that's pretty awesome. Um, the trigger on this thing is outstanding. You guys saw in some of my previous videos, I showed you how to tune these uh, triggers and polish them. You can just dial these things in. I mean, look at this. I got breaking at half a pound. And that's just for me because I'm target shooting with it. It works great. But if you wanted more tension on it, it's easy. You can put as much tension as you want on this thing. It is terrific. Also, I like the fact it's pretty quiet and this moderator actually works. Once again, you're getting a PCP rifle. This is why I'm kind of excited about this. I just can't believe how inexpensive this is, but with a moderator as well. And with that moderator, you're also getting open sights. So you don't get too many rifles that come with open sights. And then on top of all of that, accuracy. You saw at 40 yards, we shot under a three quarter inch group. And then at the same time, when we were plinking at that distance, we were hitting everything we were aiming at. It was fantastic. Also, it exceeded our expectations as far as velocity goes. We had good power. But again, this does have an adjustable hammer spring. Let me show you real quick. It's right here on the bottom. Same thing. You just put an Allen wrench in there, and uh, you can adjust that hammer spring. Actually, you know, right out of the box, it probably shoots just fine for you. But if you're one of those that like to tinker and play with this, you know, more tension, you're going to get more power, less shot count, vice versa. You go the other direction. So we got very good power out of this, about 27 foot-pounds of energy. But I charted this for you, so check out the chart here. So I found the sweet spot for you. On a 3,000 PSI fill, I went through the whole process. The sweet spot is actually going to be between shot number 6 and shot number 25. So between 2800 PSI and 2000 PSI is going to give you the most consistent accurate shot counts. So think about it. So you're going to get you'll get two full magazines at the optimum accuracy and velocity. So that is definitely your sweet spot. Obviously you're going to get more shots if you know you fall in the beginning of that or at the end of that. So you could probably add another magazine so you probably get three magazines out of it. But if you want the most accurate the most powerful it's that shot number six between uh, that and uh, shot number 25. So you're going to get 20 good shots there. So anyway, I love the fact that this is a 3,000 PSI fill. It's really neat. And speaking of 3,000 PSI fill, let's um, talk about our carbon tank uh, here, our carbon fiber tank here. Um, this is one put out by Ace Care. But uh, rather than talking about it, let me just show you how to use it and how it performs. So check this out. Okay, let's show you how a carbon fiber tank works for those of you guys that are always curious about it. The whole idea about a carbon fiber tank is the fact that it's um, super sturdy and they're designed to hold 4,500 PSI, which your standard scuba tanks are 3,000 PSI. So you get an extra 1,500 PSI out of these, which is kind of nice. So this one here, this is a 6.8 liter. It weighs about eight and a half pounds. And again, you can fill it to 300 bar, which is about 4,500 PSI. So it's a 72 cubic foot tank. And this one is actually DOT approved, Department of Transportation approved. And the valve on this thing is an M18 by a 1.5. So in addition to the tank, you got to have a valve for it. And this valve, this is a 300 bar valve. And uh, the thing about this is, if you'll notice these gauges here, these are in megapascals. So one megapascal equals about 145 PSI. So 31 megapascals um, would equal uh, 4,500 PSI. So what you have here is you have the tank pressure here in this gauge. And then you're going to have the gun pressure, or the pressure that you're feeling coming out of this 
gauge, which is kind of nice. In addition to that, then obviously you would uh, look at the gun gauge as well. But let's show you real quick how you would do this. Okay, first off, this is a foster fitting. We're going to take our fitting and just snap that right on here. Just pull that back and it comes on there. Make sure it's secure. So it's definitely secure. And right now we're at about 2,000 PSI. So the beautiful thing about pressurized tanks, seriously, within seconds you're going to fill your gun. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that the bleeder valve, which is right here, is closed. That's closed. So then what we're going to do is we're going to want to just slightly crack this valve open. And I like to keep an eye on the tank itself, the gun tank, and this both. So what you're going to do is you're just going to crack this gently and you're going to watch that this tank pressure just goes up just before you know it. So we're going to go to 20 megapascals on this thing. And we're almost there. Just creeping it up. And we're there. Then you hit the, you hit the uh, bleeder valve, let the air out and unconnect it. It's that simple. So that's why you see this is this kind of really the preferred method if you can have one of these and fill one up because if you fill it up to 4500 PSI in a large tank like this and you're only going to a, a 3000 PSI fill, it's you're going to have a lot of air for quite some time. So the also is the convenience of it is how fast it is. You can take it with you out in the field if you're going to go somewhere shooting. You don't have to worry about uh, electrical source or a battery powered pump. So there is advantage of this. So the best world is you have one of these and you actually have some electric pumps as well. But uh, as I said, this one's put out by Ace Care. Uh, the tank's around 400, 450 bucks. You can get it on sale. And then there's various valves. Their valve, which is really, really nice, they're close to right around 100 bucks. So anyway, um, there you go. There's your Ace Care carbon fiber tank. Okay, this Ace Care tank was awesome. You guys saw that. And I love the fact that these things just weigh about eight and a half pounds. Very convenient. Because I have the scuba tanks. I've got the electric pumps. I just never had a carbon fiber tank. And now, these are really affordable in comparison just a, a few years back. And, uh, you know, quality, performance, value, it's all there. And how would I rate this carbon fiber tank overall and the gauges? Oh, five stars. I just can't believe you can get this type of... Um, quality nowadays for the prices that they are because these things used to be extremely expensive and that's why I didn't have one until now but they're great so I would definitely give uh, that whole piece of equipment right there five stars and remember I told you I wouldn't bring you guys something else unless I thought it would be extremely um, uh, a good either a good value or it's a really good product and I would have to say this is and I love the fact it's already DOT approved as in Department of Transportation so how about the Beeman how would I rate this I mean First, think about it. This thing is $200. It's a $200 PCP rifle. And I showed you the overall performance of this. So for this value, it's definitely a five-star rifle. When I'm talking about that $200 PCP right in that range, this is a five-star rifle. Definitely. So I'm going to leave you guys some links below. I'll leave you some links below for the uh, carbon fiber tank. And I'll leave you links below for the uh, Beeman. And then, of course, you guys know where to get the bipods right there on my website but I'll leave you a link for that as well so anyway don't forget this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun until next time I hope you and your families are doing great I hope you're getting plenty of shooting in so take care and God bless